God's prophets came bearing miracles, which were signs of God's existence and absolute proof that they were messengers of the Almighty. Islam defines a miracle as an extraordinary act or event that goes against the laws of nature. It can only come about through the direct intervention and will of God. Miracles are not magical in that they are not only tricks or illusions. Acts of magic are evil acts performed with the help of devils. Miracles, by contrast, can be performed only by prophets. Past prophets performed them as irrefutable evidence that their prophethood was, in fact, a matter of truth. The prophets were supported by miracles that reflected their nation's areas of specialty and expertise, so that the acts would be more convincing, understood, appreciated, and identified by the people of that nation, and not perceived as just magic. For instance, the people of Egypt excelled in magic and sorcery and even consorted with jinn spirits to play tricks and illusions on others. Thus, God provided Prophet Moses with types of miracles that were related to illusions, such as the power to transform his staff into a snake right before his people, strike the Nile with his rod to transform the river into blood, and part the Red Sea. All were meant to humble his people and remind them that the power, control, and might of God is true, and not just an illusion of the eyes. Likewise, during the time of Prophet Jesus, the Romans pride themselves in boasting the best medicines, healing, cures, and doctors in the land, and at a time when medical science was at its height. Thus God sent Prophet Jesus with several miracles of nature which could not be justified by medical science. These miracles included the miraculous birth of Prophet Jesus from a virgin, as well as the ability to heal leprosy, cure the blind, and resurrect the dead all with the permission and will of God. In the time of Prophet Muhammad, the Arabs, although predominantly unlettered, were masters of the spoken word. They were people that excelled in the art of eloquence and knowledge. Their poetry and spoken word were considered a model of literary excellence and they valued words and speech. Thus God revealed to his final nation the best and the most eloquent of all speeches, the Holy Quran, the eloquence of which left the people of Prophet Muhammad astound. The book was revealed to a prophet who was unlettered, unable to read, write, or calculate, to prove to the people he was not its author. Billions of people since the advent of this miracle have witnessed its majesty, believing its truth and its miraculous nature in terms of its style, content, and spiritually uplifting message. The Holy Quran mentions recounts of stories of previous nations that received prophets and messengers to convey God's message. But the people rejected, disobeyed, and denied the truth. God sent his prophet Noah. Our prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.